Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's a beautiful morning once again, a new day. Hallelujah. Father God, we commit ourselves into your mighty hands. Take charge, take over our spirit, soul, and body, Father. We surrender ourselves again today, Lord. Manguna ka po sa lahat ng aming mga gawain. Panginoon, ikaw po ang manguna. You lead us, the Lord, oh Father God, in everything that we do today, Father. We can do nothing without you, Lord, but with you we can do everything. Hallelujah. Because we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Lord, thank you for this wonderful day, oh God. Lord, we simply live for you, O oh God, Lord. Through your words, giving words to us, Father God, help us to follow and obey you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. I simply live for you. Say the word, and I will sing for you. Over oceans deep, I will follow If each star was a song And every breath of wind praise I will still fail by far To say all my heart contains I simply live I simply live for you as the glory of your presence now fills this place, in worship we will meet you face to face. There is nothing in this world to which you can be compared. Glory on glory, praise upon praise. You bind the broken hearted and Save all my tears, and by your word you set the captives free. There is nothing in this world and that you cannot do. I simply live, I simply live for you. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. We bless the Lord and we glorify you, O God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, you're so good. You're so wonderful. You're so awesome. You're so mighty, Lord. Thank you. We magnify you, Lord, and we glorify you, O Father. Thank you, Lord. Abba, as I partake the bread and the cup, I remember you. I do this in remembrance of you, Father, until I see you again, Lord. Thank you for this bread and the cup, Father. Hallelujah for our forgiveness, Lord. Thank you, Father. Um, the Lord is saying, and he take the food and give thanks, the bread. He broke it and said, take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Father, you are coming again, O Lord. Thank you, Father, God, Jesus, and as I partake this bread and the cup, I remember you, Lord. You are coming again, and thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness, Lord, of my sins. Thank you, Lord, for your love. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this cup of the new covenant, for the forgiveness of my sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen.
Father, thank you, Lord, for this morning again. We will be reading the Word of God in the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. Hallelujah. Father, before that, Lord, again, we will continue on praying, Father God, Jesus, for those who are suffering and in pain, Lord, for those who are of us, we need protection, Father. We pray, O oh Lord, for those who are affected by the, by the flood, Lord Jesus, O oh God. Comfort them, Lord, be with them, Father. So many of them, O oh God, Lord, bless the people. And also, the Lord, for those who are suffering from this virus, O oh Father God, Lord, be with them, Lord. You are the God of comfort and mercy and love, Lord. Send angels to come and uh, take care of them, Father. Also, Lord, for ourselves, Father God, Jesus, we come to you, Lord, to for protection, O oh, Father, safety and abiding of your presence, O oh God, Lord. Hallelujah. We need you, Father. Lord, for our loved ones, Lord, our family, relatives, and friends. Lord, for those who can hear our voice now, Lord, as we pray, O oh, Father, protect us and cover us with your precious blood, Lord. Thank you that as we who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, I am far praising this Psalm 91 as our prayer. Thank you, Lord, that your words is so powerful. Yes, Lord, we will continue for praying for our loved ones, family, relatives, and friends, uncles and aunties, brothers and sisters, niece and nephews, Lord, our employers, our friends in Singapore and beyond, Lord, and in the Philippines. Father God, Lord, our spiritual family, Father, you know who they are. God, we just want to surrender ourselves into your mighty hands. Right now, those who are reading with me, who are praying with me right now, Father God, we need you, Lord. So as we who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God, in Him we will trust. Yes, Father, we trust you, God, Lord. Um, surely... He, we shall, the Lord will shall deliver us. Thank you, Father. Surely, God shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. God will cover us with his feathers and under his wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. His truth, the word of God, the truth. Lord, we hold on to your word that you will protect us. Father, thank you. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come near us. For your children, Lord, and for those who are praying for Lord, Father God, it will not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. It's the wicked, the Satan, Lord. It's not us, Father. Because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the Most High, our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any flick come near our dwelling. Yes, in the house, our dwelling place, even right now in my room. Father God, Lord. Yes, it will not come near us. For the Lord, God will command his angels to charge over us. Thank you, Lord. Your angels are with us, Father God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. To keep us in all our ways and in their hands, in the hands of the angels, they shall bear us up, lest uh, we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. We shall trample under our foot. We can just trample them under our foot in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We have the authority to trample them under our feet. Those 
or sickness or those COVID, those uh, sakuna ng flood, everything that is not of you, we can just trample under our feet. Thank you, Father, that your angels also around us. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. The Lord is saying that because they have set their love upon me, therefore, I will deliver them. I will set them on high because they have known my name. Yes. Jesus, the name above all names. Amen. Father, thank you. They shall call upon me. Yes, in prayer we call to you, Father. And you will answer us, Father God. Thank you. Hallelujah. He will, they will call upon me and I will answer him. them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Yes, Father God, Lord. You will show us your salvation, Lord, salvation, not just salvation, Father God, from heaven, from hell to heaven, or salvation, Father God, Jesus, but salvation as well for our needs, Lord. You will save us, Lord. You will give our needs. You will protect us, oh, Father God. You will give us with a long life, a good life, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. A good, healthy life, Lord. Long life. Satisfy us, Lord. Thank you. Oh, we bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lord, yes, we give thanks to you, O oh, Lord, for you are good. Hallelujah. And your love endures forever. And you are so faithful to us, Father. Oh, God, we magnify you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, we will sing praises to you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God, for you are good all the time. God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O Father. Thank you, Lord, for this. For today, we magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are coming back again, Lord. That's what you have said here, Lord, that you will be back again. Father, Lord, you have said here this. In the last days, Lord, we are now in the last days, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. But, Father God, Lord, you have said to her that at the time the sign, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see that the sun is coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect, his children, his elect, his chosen one, those who receive him as his personal Lord and Savior, those who surrender, who worship him alone, that is the elect. He will gather them, the elect, from the four winds, from one end to the heavens of the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as the twig get tender and its leaves come out, you know that the summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near. Right at the door, I tell you the truth. This generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away because your word is truth, Father. Lord, we may continue to read this. The day and the hour doesn't know. We do not know, but we must always be ready of His coming. We will continue to read this again. Thank you, Father, for your word. We may read this in, in our own spare time. The sign of the end of the age. Hallelujah. Father God, you are coming again. Help us, Lord, to be ready. Help us, Father God, Jesus, to acknowledge you, Lord, and to always be ready any time of your coming, Father God. Cultivate the presence of God. Amen. Let's continue on reading Proverbs chapter 24 verses 
verses 1 to, to 34. Father God, again, as we come to you, help us to understand. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Lord, as we continue to read your word. Hallelujah. Verse 1 of chapter 24 in Proverbs. Don't envy evil people or desire their company. Verse 2. For their hearts plot violence and their words always stir up trouble. Verse 3. A house is built by wisdom and becomes strong through good sense. Verse 4. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. Verse 5. The wise are mightier than the strong, and those with knowledge grow strong and stronger. Verse 6. So don't go to war without wise guidance. Victory depends on having many advisors. Verse 7. Wis wisdom is so lofty for fools. Among leaders at the city gates, they have nothing to say. Verse 8. A person who plans evil will get reputation as a troublemaker. The schemes of a fool are sinful. Everyone detests a mocker. Verse 10. If you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. Verse 11. Rescue those who are unjustly sentenced to die. Save them as they stagger to their death. Verse 12. Don't excuse yourself by saying, Look, we didn't know. For God understands all hearts. And he sees you. Powerful. God understands all hearts and he sees you. Indeed. Thank you, Father. He who guards your soul knows you knew. He will repay all people as their actions deserve. Again, let's <clears throat> read verse 12. Don't excuse yourself by saying, Look, we didn't know. For God understands all hearts and he sees you. He who guards your soul knows you knew. He will repay all people as their actions deserve. Verse 13. My child, eat honey, for it is good, and the honeycomb is sweet to taste. In the same way, wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, you will have a bright future, and your hopes will not be cut short. Verse 15. Don't wait in ambush at the home of the godly, and don't raid the house where the godly live. Verse 16. The godly man trips seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. Verse 17. Don't rejoice when your enemies fall. Don't be happy when they stumble. Verse 18. For the Lord will be displeased with you and will turn his anger away from them. Verse 19. Don't fret because of evil doers. Don't envy the wicked. Verse 20. For evil people have no future. The light of the wicked will be snuffed out. Verse 21. My child, fear the Lord and the King. Don't associate with rebels. 22. That is, for disaster will hit them suddenly. Who knows what punishment will come from the Lord, the King? More saying of the wise, verse 23. Here are some further saying of the wise. 
It is wrong to show favoritism when passing judgment. A judge who says to the wicked, "You are innocent," you will be cursed by many people and denounced by the nations. But twenty-five, verse twenty-five. But it will go well with those who convict, convict the guilty. Rich blessings will be showered to them. Twenty-six. An in an honest answer is like a kiss of friendship. Twenty-seven. Do your planning and prepare your fields before building your house. Verse twenty. Don't testify against your neighbors without cause. Don't lie about them. Verse twenty-nine. And don't say, "Now I can pay them back for what they they've done to me. I'll get even with them." Don't say that. Don't say. Thirty. Because the Lord will do it for you and not. You. So, again, twenty nine. Don't say you can pay them back for what they've done to me. Don't say I can. Don't say now I can pay them back for what they've done to me. I'll get even with them. Don't say that. Um, verse thirty. I walked by the field of lazy person, the vine yard of one with. No common sense. Thirty one, I saw that it was overthrown with needles. It was covered with weeds, and its wall were broke down, broken down. Thirty two, then I looked and threw about it. I learned this lesson. Thirty three, a little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Thirty four. Then poverty will pounce on you like bandits. Scarcity will attack you, like an armed robber. So we don't have to little sleep. <laughs> In other words, let's not be lazy. Let's work. In our fields and let's work in our fields. Father God, thank you, Lord, for your word. I believe this every verse of this will be a great help to us. Thank you, Lord, that give us the wisdom how to understand. Oh, Father, thank you, Lord, for your word. Indeed, heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will not. Thank you, Lord, for this time reading your, in reading, your love letter to us, Father. We pray that we will be able to understand this, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved, for reading God's word with me, His love letter to us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And so to me, Hallelujah! Thank you, Father. We need you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Goodbye, po, mga mahal. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.